This week we are going to Vegas, then Maryland, and I'm going to take you guys with me. So before we start anything, let's pack first, okay? So this week I have to park very smart because I'm condensing everything into a carry-on and a backpack since I'm going for two days, well technically four, but I'm going to eat first. So um, I usually don't eat before I fly or I eat as light as possible. But today that's not the case because it's almost 1 p.m i have almost five hours flight from here to vegas straight which is great <laughs> last time i had a layover um in california which is ugh. but today i'm eating really big mm. and mom made this it's so good so so I finally made it to the airport. Um, I thought I was right on time, but hey guys, I was extra on time because my flight is delayed again. Unlucky me for the whole month. Hopefully not this month, but um, yeah, it is what it is. Enjoy this beautiful view. Finally made it to Vegas to find out that all the flights landed at the same time. So they couldn't get our bags to us that quick so we had to wait almost an hour to get our bags the most important thing is i got my bag and we finally drove to the venue which let me tell you because i flew from columbus to vegas i am three hours ahead so technically when i wrestle tonight i'm going to be wrestling after midnight which kills my body because i'm sleep deprived and whatever but as soon as i got there went to the hotel room um, you know, just to put some stuff away and then walk straight to the venue. It's just a walking distance with my beautiful ladies, whoa, and my beautiful it, bodybuilder it, sister it, who's it, it. working right now. <laughs> um, went to the venue, saw what was happening there. I had to grab some food because I was starving. Like, I was hungry, hungry, hungry. You guys know now why I ate really heavy earlier because I knew my day was going to be like this. Uh, we came to back to the venue. I tried to eat my food really, really quick because while I was eating, what you guys don't see is that people were having a meeting, but I'm like, I have to literally eat. If not, I'm gonna pass out in this ring and I cannot do that at all. But I love this show because it's all like, you know, it feels like family. It's so fun. It's so laid back. Everybody's happy to be there. Like, it's just amazing. And again, Maz and Wold. Every time I put a camera on, I don't know why you girls are always twerking. Maybe that's what I do all the time. Um, the venue was really beautiful, super laid back. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy every single minute of it. And of course, you guys know I don't play with stretching, stretching, stretching. That's how I say it anymore since my hip surgery. But this is the how it feels like to be in this um, venue or do this show in Vegas and uh it was kind of hot but not too too hot <laughs> match is over the show is over it was very fun very entertaining i wrestled without makeup on which i <laughs> let me tell you it's a great great feeling and i was helping um well not helping her but we we're all going to the hotel she's pushing her actually boyfriend is the promoter and she's just freaking awesome like she's an amazing person so we we're going back to the hotel for me to just you know put some stuff back and then change real quick before we go back to the venue because the venue um, after the show is slash a bar. So, but this is my face as soon as we got to the hotel back again. Um, I showered. I was exhausted at that point and tried to catch on on some sleep, y'all. But you know me, I am not a good sleeper at all. I have to take z which I couldn't be because I'm just scared that I'm going to oversleep and miss my flight. But, you know, I didn't end up waking up actually 
extra early for no reason and super beast drove us to the airport because i feel like everybody was leaving at the same time so we all had to like you know drive together and um I just wanted to take these little videos to show you guys like if you haven't been to vegas yet this is what it looks like i know vegas is all crazy and hyper and all these stuff are happening in vegas but daytime it's pretty chill um anyways i made it to the airport and i have a long way to go to maryland which is almost um five hours so i took a really good nap on the plane then we finally landed and I had to play this waiting game again on my bag because I had to check my carry-on since I flew um, Spirit this time. And after that, the waiting game continued with the shuttle situation. So I'm walking to go get my shuttle. And I had to come up to departure level instead of arrival level. Which is crazy, but we're going there, so yeah. We are finally in Maryland and uh, uh, this is my hotel room. You guys know I always double check everything so and now time to order food. I just got in my hotel room in Baltimore, Maryland and I'm about to order some food because I am tired and the time difference, bro, it's ugh, three hours, three freaking hours. I know I said this before, but I'm going to say ah my body's just like what are you doing to me right now <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna order some food and then go shower so talk about perfect timing i just finished taking my shower and they just deliver my food so oh my god this is so much so i asked for sweet and sour chicken extra crispy um this is the sweet and sour sauce and i asked for extra um uh, white rice because she said yeah it's small i'm like okay i will take extra just for tomorrow and some um, sweet tea and some egg roll well shrimp roll but bro look how big that is damn well i have breakfast lunch and dinner for tomorrow because you guys know i do not waste food so this yeah. is so freaking good mm, mm, mm. I was so hungry. Mm. I don't know if it's because I'm too hungry or it's literally so good. So, yeah, spend $27 on this. I'm going to eat every single bit of it. I just finished eating and uh, I took some ibuprofen too because my head is killing me and my lower belly is hurting it's that time of the month it's just so freaking annoying to travel while I'm on my period it's just ugh. but I don't have any control over it so yeah any means that I'm not pregnant double yeah <laughs> <laughs> but yeah um i don't think i'm gonna fall asleep anytime soon because i just ate but at least tomorrow my show is not until four or five so i have time to you know have a really good night's sleep hopefully because uh usually and i'm saying this usually when i'm in the hotel i sleep for some reason like i sleep awake if that makes sense I don't know how to say that like i don't deep i don't sleep deeply there you go i do not sleep deep like when i'm home of course like it's home my bed but yeah usually at seven eight i'm up um but today i try already like you know close the window like the blinds everything is so it's gonna be extra dark in here so i can catch up on some sleep and uh stretch a lot before i go to the venue tomorrow because you know when i'm wrestling raylene i just go extra hard man because i love that woman she's my sis so yeah i'm looking forward to it but i'm just gonna be here and i'm gonna watch netflix until i pass out
yeah so see you guys in the morning Mwah. <laughs> I am dead inside y'all I found the bed bug in my room and I freaked out and I couldn't change room because it was at 3 a.m. and didn't have any other room for me so I had to ask for extra blanket and like literally wait until 8 a.m. in the morning to change room so mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna take a nap well try to take a nap before the show and then we go from there I closed again the window everything I change room um, you guys saw that already, so yeah. So I went downstairs to get something to drink, but also I asked them to give me some milk because I'm having a really bad heartburn and um, my body's itching. I think I got bit quite a lot, quite a lot. So. But I'm about to do my makeup now and we are leaving the hotel at 4.30, well between 4.30 and 4.45 to go to the venue. Wish me luck because I am not feeling so good right now, honestly. Well, we'll see. We are done here. Oh, the light looks like, it makes it look like I have taken blend my makeup, but I know I did, so yeah. So, I'm done with my makeup, put my outfit on, my bag is ready, my face is pretty, still not feeling the best, but let's go to the venue and see how it goes. Look who I found! A queen and a king. The king herself. So, we are finally on our way to the venue. Uh, we stopped at the gas station to get some energy drinks. And honestly, this bed bug situation got me all messed up in my head. I feel like there is a you know a bug on me and like my body's itching it's just so weird we had to do physical um before you wrestle in maryland you have to have the license and the promotion took care of that and this is the beautiful venue this is where we're gonna wrestle tonight and uh, i went ahead and you know put my gear on my body was still itching i had some inflammation here and there still messed up but this is what the crowd looks like it it was really beautiful and so professional Hey, Rachel. After I got um, finished getting ready, I had to wrap my hand because if you guys don't know now, you know I was hurt um, a few weeks ago. It's still not there yet, but um, I have to wrap it to keep it safe. Um, and I think I'm going to, you know, do this for the next month or two just to be on the safe side. Raynan, tell me how do you prepare for your match? So I get my gooey goo. Yeah. You put it in a nice little ball. Okay. You put it on the table and then you roll it out like so. Okay. Like so. <laughs> like so. It's really stimulating. <laughs> and then, yes, the gooey gooey ushy gushy. Oh, wow. And right there, voila. You're good. I know. <laughs> done wrestling and honestly i think rachel and i we could have done more and better but we did what we could and we were all safe so that's the most important thing and i'm obsessed with this top man mm -hmm. i love it i need to buy every single color uh, but i only have them in black and it was time for me to do a little interview well a short interview not a little interview then we went to the hotel and we went to the room we're back it's bedtime. We get to take a nap. <laughs> yeah, because she's leaving at five. Mm -hmm. I'm leaving at six. So tell them what time it is. Oh, what time? It, um, it's one forty-six a.m. So good night, y'all. I'm gonna turn off the light, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay. Here you go. <laughs> Listen, y'all, these traveling schedules are brutal. Like, now I understand when they say wrestling is the easy part, traveling is the hardest part. Because I feel every single bit of it 
all over my body i'm telling you guys from you know pushing my suitcase carrying my backpack not eating what i want not sleeping in my bed you know going to the airport a little early eating extra breakfast early super morning so i don't feel dizzy and i feel like i'm gonna fall and pass out you know at the airport like all these little things that i usually don't do and i have to do them because i need to keep myself safe and my body safe then yeah it's just it's indescribable and this is a video just for you guys to you know kind of see what we go through but you can never relate to it unless you really live in it and then of course as soon as i got home the bed bug situation got me all messed up like it was my first time ever seeing a bed bug first time ever you know getting bitten by a bed bug first time ever freaking like experiencing bed bug so i literally cut my hair remove all the extension got undressed in the um garage my mom was like what's wrong with you like what's happening blah 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 i was like you don't have any idea so i just finished taking my shower wash my hair and i feel so much better now like i don't feel like there is bug all over me it's just uh it's crazy so now i can finally go eat maybe i was a little extreme huh it is what it is. I just needed my mind to be right. But like I was saying, um, I'm going to go eat and then do my facial, take a nap before I go to work. Yep, you heard. I am going to work. We are going to work, even though I do not want to, but I have to do my commitment hours so I can be off this weekend before going to atlanta georgia so let's get it also a lot of you guys have been asking me why i haven't been posting my matches on my youtube channel well your queen is growing so some of them are strict on tv and some of them i am not allowed to post them unfortunately but those that i can post i'm gonna post them on my youtube channels either on saturdays or sundays so be on the lookout for those videos thank you the wrap for today saturday the 17th i'm going to bed get a good rest and wake up tomorrow getting ready to get ready to go to training getting ready i'm too tired but i'm super full <laughs> so i don't know <laughs> good night y'all here we go I also want to remind you to please subscribe and share my videos. Thank you. So y'all, we are here at training. Um, that's my training the gym right there. I am tired. Not because I didn't rest, because I rested way too much. I slept for straight eight hours. Like literally when I woke up this morning, I had to run to go pee. Yeah, <laughs> that's how tired I was. But um we're gonna train a little bit um i don't think i'm gonna get in the ring um uh, maybe maybe not i i never know what i'm gonna do honestly but even watching is training i just like to show up every single time i am in town because it's very important um for me to keep coming to training get my mind right get my focus on point and then see my people too because i love them very much and i always have fun here so let's go all right, y'all, that's it for this video. I appreciate you guys for watching. And let me know if you have any suggestion, like, you know, what you want to see, what I should record here and there. And I learned something new today. I told you guys, I never know what I'm going to do. I was in the ring. So thank you guys again. I love you, love you, love you very juicy much.